And in terms of uh, Eurovision, how far had you got in your preparations? Had you had you got the staging all done? Um, we were so, I was so close, you know, we, we kind of got the main idea for the staging. Tell us anything now. Tell us anything now. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah there was going to be a real wolf. <laughs> There's gonna be a real wolf. <laughs> There's gonna be a real wolf. <laughs> yeah. 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 It felt like it was gonna be pretty huge. Now, when did you find out that uh, it wasn't taking place? It was before lockdown. When did you find out that uh, it wasn't taking place? It was before lockdown. When did you find out that uh, it wasn't taking place? It was before lockdown. And uh, me and my wife were just out for a drive, actually. And uh, me and my wife were just out for a drive, actually. And uh, me and my wife were just out for a drive, actually. It's been to get some shopping and stuff. It's been to get some shopping and stuff. It's been to get some shopping and stuff. And then I got a text and they were like, uh, yeah, it's cancelled. And then I got a text and they were like, uh, yeah, it's cancelled. I'm meant to like have a little, a few minutes to myself, but yeah. It's a few minutes to myself, but yeah. It's... Have you thought beyond lockdown, you know, what's going to happen to your, to your career, your stuff? after lockdown well yeah my new single came out uh, yesterday um it's called enough i've got my album as well just uh, keep on keeping up fantastic well i'm so sorry it turned out like this but uh hopefully next year i'll be the charm so sorry it turned out like this but uh hopefully next year i'll be the charm next year i'll be the charm next year i'll be the charm Thank you so much, man. Let's speak to you, mate. Bye. Bye. Ah, so we won't be seeing James or his wolf in Rotterdam tonight, but here's a very special live performance film before lockdown. This is James Newman and his UK Eurovision entry that never was. This is James Newman and his UK Eurovision entry that never was. My last breath.